how does it affect someone's daily life? Oh, it can, it can be tremendous for how it affects people. It can, it can go from, I can do things that are normal for me, like going upstairs. If I live in a two-story house, it might be very difficult for me, very difficult for me to move on and to do things normally, to, do, to walk into the grocery store, to simply even go to a movie theater or to have dinner with my friends on a quiet restaurant because I'm going to start coughing and I'm going to start producing phlegm. And you know, people are going to be looking at me and they're going to say, Oh my, you know, you're, you're sick. And, and, and that's something that I really don't want to, so I'm gonna avoid those things. I might actually change my routine as far as traveling. I might not go to visit my friends in, in the colder states because in the winter time, I might get affected by the cold weather and I might have to go to the urgent care center or the hospital there. Wow. So things like that, it can change dramatically the, the point of life for many people. That's very important to realize that. Thank you, doctor. Come sit down and join me because we have a list of symptoms as well that we can go through them that are related to COPD. And if we can talk about these, some that you actually have just mentioned, uh, uh, touched on a little bit, which is the chronic smoker's cough, correct? That's correct. That's okay. very correct. Tell me uh, a little bit about these. Sure. Uh, so, so essentially people start coughing and they have this, what we call, uh, this is my, my smoker cough. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes we just think it's, it's something that happened because you light a cigarette and it's not. Right. It's just already damaging to your lungs. So having this, this, this cough, having the flame production, especially the flame that happens during the morning times, and it can go throughout the day completely, and also shortness of breath. Shortness of breath is, is, a, is an impacting thing that modifies your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You can do things that right. otherwise you will be able to do. You can't go to the you know, up the second floor. You can't park your car too far away from mm -hmm. somewhere. You can't run to pick up the phone if someone is calling you. Right. Very important issues. The wheezing, uh, the... Yeah. <gasps> and then the sound, the wheezing. And the wheezing uh, and, and these this abnormal sounds that people can hear when you're talking to them mm -hmm. or when you're actually talking on the phone, especially right. if, you, if you run a little bit to pick up the phone and, and someone's going to tell, are you sick? Why are you, why are you having this abnormal breathing? And those things, they're disturbing. You know, you know, we don't like people to tell us you look sick.